So while the Ukraine-Russia situation has taken the world by the balls, and rightfully so, of course, many people have come out to give their takes, reaction, etc. I'm about to play for you one of the most odd, dare I say absurd, maybe deranged videos I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Please just take a look at this. Dear President Vladimir Putin, I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. If I was your mother, you would have been so loved, held in the arms of joyous light. Never would the story's plight, the world unfurled before our eyes, a pure demise of nations sitting peaceful under a night sky. If I was your mother, the world would have been warm, so much laughter and joy, and nothing would harm. I can't imagine the stain, the soul-stealing pain that the little boy you must have seen and believed, and the formulation of thought quickly taught that you lived in a cruel, unjust world. Is this why you now decide no one will get the best of you? Is this why you do not hide nor away shy from taking back the world? It was it because so early in life, all that strife wrapped your little body with fear. If I was your mother, if the, the world was cold, I'd have died to make you warm. I'd have died to protect you from the unjust, the violence, the terror, the uncertainty. I would have died to give you life. Oh dear, Mr. President Putin, if only I'd been your mother. Perhaps the torture of unwrit youth would not within your heart imbue a scription to such fealty against that world that you thought was so cruel. Perhaps you would hold dear human life and on this night, instead of Mother Russia, you would call me and I would set your mind quite free with the love that only a mother can give and only a mother can take away. When holds, she doesn't the harm at bay and leaves her boy for the promise of a man. Whatever your story, Mr. President Putin, I can't imagine how it feels in your heart, but I know if I was your mother, that would be a start towards the awareness of what a powerful being of light you could be if your mind was only free from the violence you've seen when you were just two or three. I cannot believe I was born too late in a different place when I would have loved you so. Watched you play wherever you go. Okay, that was a woman by the name of Anna Lynn McCord. Apparently she is an American actress. This video went absolutely viral on Twitter and it got ratio to hell and back. And I'm sure it doesn't take a genius to understand why. I don't even know where to start with this, man. I, I really don't even know where to start with this. Um, what's funny to me, let's start with the funny shit. <laughs> it's always good to start with the funny stuff. What, what's funny to me is that I'm sure that when she wrote that poem and she you know, thought of this and she wrote the poem and she pressed record and she recited that thing with all the dramatism and emotion that she put into it. And after she hit stop record, she probably thought she did the best thing ever. And then she hit upload. And she was like, yep, this will do it. And it didn't. And she hasn't tweeted anything since. I, I can't see any recent activity, more recent than this, on her Twitter feed. I don't know why it's still up. The video is indeed still up. It hasn't been taken down. Maybe it's pride. I have no idea. But this is nonsensical. And this woman is an actress. One may very well call her a celebrity. I've never heard of her since before this happened, but just because I've never heard of a person doesn't mean they don't have some sort of fame or status or whatever. She has 200,000 followers. Um, she claims to be a human rights activist. I'm not disputing any of that. But, you know, this kind of falls in line of Hollywood people, of celebrities. You know, um, I, I don't look to them for anything. I don't give a fuck what any of them have to say, whether they're a Hollywood actor or singer or an athlete or whoever, you know, public figures in general. I just don't really care. I like to formulate my own opinions myself. Just that's just the kind of person I am. I think for myself. But I'm, I'm sure if you go down the line of celebrities and, you know, really famous people that have spoken out 
about this Ukraine situation, you'll find some really fucked up takes. And that's for every situation that happens in the world. Like, you know, whether it's whatever, you know, if a monumental event happens, famous people always come out and say dumb shit because they're fucking dumb. They're not that smart. They're not, you know, it doesn't, idiots become famous all the time. You know what I mean? Which is why they're the worst people to look to for information. And especially regarding an issue like this with the Ukraine, Russia thing, there's going to be a loads of people, man. In case you aren't aware, let me make you aware. There's going to be a lot of people coming out over these next couple of days. And there have been over the past couple of days, weeks, however long this is going to uh, go on with their takes. And a lot of them are going to be wrong. And a lot of it is going to be misinformation. And you have to decide amongst yourself, you know, what you want to do, you know, whether you want to dodge that stuff or do whatever. But what I can recommend is just, look, man, do your own research, come up with your own opinions, think about things yourself and come to your own conclusion. Uh, this is astounding. I really don't know what else to say about this. I mean, wow, she probably really thought that was going to be it. And what's funny is she actually did this. So this is from BuzzFeed. So she says, I know I could have easily moved in the direction of becoming a dictator. Uh, she said that when asked about her reason for writing the poem, she was talking to BuzzFeed. She said, if certain circumstances of my life were different, were I a little less bent um, toward healing and more towards vindication, I could have been a darkly powerful person. So in that video, I guess we'll talk about the substance of the video. <laughs> She basically said, you know, if, if I was Vladimir Putin's pup, uh, mother, I almost said puppet, Jesus Christ, uh, mother, you know, he'd be different. He wouldn't have invaded Ukraine. How do you know that? <laughs> no, seriously, how, do, how, how does she know that? Um, you know what's crazy? I'm sure. And I don't know Vladimir Putin's backstory. I don't know who his parents are. I don't know any of this shit. So don't, you know, I'm not going to pretend like I am. Don't assume that I know. But I'm pretty sure if he did have a if he did have uh, have a mother, which he had to because he was born, she loved him greatly. <laughs> I, I would say that it's safe to say that his mother had a lot of love for him and maybe his entire family. Now I don't know, but I'm more than willing to believe that. Okay, and he's in the position that he in, that he's in because he just so happened to get there, and he's doing what he's doing because he wants to. I don't think it's because he wasn't loved as a child or he wasn't held for a second longer or whatever it was she said in that video. And this woman also, and I just found this out from reading this BuzzFeed article about her. My apologies, it was a brief interruption, but she said the same thing when George Floyd passed. She said she would have a conference with Derek Chauvin, uh, the police officer who murdered Floyd and apologized for the way his education and community failed to shape him properly. Look, I'm not going to take a dig at her personally. Um, this could quite possibly just be the kind of person she is. Um, who am I to say how effective or ineffectual this kind of tactic is in dealing with situations? I'm not going to be the person to do that. I just wanted to present this to you. Make of this what you will. I thought it was, I don't know. I didn't, it was kind of funny. Kind of wasn't. I kind of felt bad for the reaction that it got. But I mean, it's a given. You upload a video like that to social media, it's going to get ripped to shreds. But anyway, there are actually um, several ways, several methods that could have been embarked upon or explored in order um, to not have President Putin, although we will never know at this point because it's already happened, um, to not invade Ukraine. But I would say that it's safe to say that one of those things definitely isn't making this woman his mother. 